guys, welcome to episode two of Craftness 2020, where we do a bunch of different holiday crafts. Today, we're gonna try applique on this zip-up hoodie using our Brother SE 1900 embroidery sewing machine. So stick around, see how we do it. start by sketching out my design. So I opened Inkscape and now I'm going to file document properties. I'm changing all the units into inches. Then I changed my width and height to 4 to fit our hoop. And now I have my square that I'm going to drag and drop my picture into. make my image smaller so it can fit inside the box because anything that doesn't fit inside the box will not be embroidered. And if you don't want the picture to look all squished or anything like that, just hold control. Now that I'm happy with how my image looks, I'm going in with the bezier tool to trace my design. my notes tool to shape what I did with the Bezier tool. Now I'm adding a layer called Snowman Outline and I moved it to the layer. And I changed the line size and changed how the line looks to dots. We do this to get our embroidery machine to do a single stitch all the way around. Make a new layer called Snowman Details. Now I'll Command C, Command V the outline of the snowman. Now I'm changing the width of the top outline. Now I'm making my outline bigger because I feel like I drew my sketch too small and adding all the little details to its face. stitch to check on my design to make sure it will be able to embroider. Time to add all the circles on its body. So now I'm just adding its scarf. Check my design again through ink stitch and it didn't work so now I'm going to see what's wrong and once I found out what was wrong I tried to fix it. Turns out I forgot to convert my circles from an object to a path. Once all the circles on its body decided to finally work I checked the whole design and it didn't work, so I tried to figure out what it was, and it turned out to be the eyes that didn't work, so I'm just going to redo them. And it worked. So now the whole design should work. And look at that. Don't really know why, but I decided to check it again, and it worked, obviously. And now it is time to put the arms on. Check the design again so I knew if the arms worked and they did. Now I'm making a new layer called text because I'm going to write some text called Let It Snow. Made a temporary circle, put it on a path under text and font. 
deleted the circle and just moved the text where I want it. Right there. And then put snow. Check the text and it worked. Okay, so we marked where we want our design on this little sweater um, with the same method of using a piece of tape, marking where the center is going to be. And now we need to get it into our hoop somehow with our backing, and then we'll attach the applique on top. Okay, so I got it in there. And really what I was going for with the tape was just to make sure that we are even um, that way now. So we can take this off now because we have to put the applique on top of this. So now we need our felt. Okay. Can you use this with fabric too or just felt? We can do this with any fabric that can be sewn. So we can use this felt or anything else. So I'm just going to get a little piece. Okay. Now we'll do just like that, and we'll do our first stitch around our snowman, and then we can trim this up. What color is first? Um, whatever the outline color would be, right? Is that black? Yes. Change the thread out. Right, so now we need to pick our design. Which is our snowman. There he is. And because the shirt is so small, in order to get it properly in the hoop, we had to move our applique over a little bit. So that means when we start, we have to rehome the middle of where we're going to be doing the applique. So to do that, we're just gonna go through the menus and move where we're gonna be sewing. Okay, so he's good to go. Hit embroider. And the first stitch is going to be now we just changed the color to any random color in the design so that the machine would know to stop after that first uh, outline stitch. Otherwise it would just continue on with the rest of the black. But we're just going to use black for uh, this first part uh, to get the outline stitch on there. So the only thing that's left is to put our foot down. And you want to do the honors? Hit that green button. Perfect. Now we can, without taking it out of the hoop, but we can take it out of the machine, trim out this, uh, the outside of the applique. So we can trim all of that up, up to the line. So we're just going to pull this up a little bit just so it's easier to cut and get under there. And we're going to use these, um, I don't even know what they're called, precision. Scissors. 
got a little curve on it, so it's easy to get underneath the fabric. All right, it's looking good. I think I finished. So what's the next step? All right, well, first I want to show, look how close we had to get. You want to get as close as you can to the outline stitch because you want your satin column stitch to cover both the outline stitch, the inside of your applique, as well as the outside of your applique. And if you don't get close enough, what's going to happen is your satin stitch will hit uh, only on your applique and it will show a little bit of the outside on there. It's not going to look as good as if it made that nice transition between applique and the rest of your shirt. So we got pretty close on this guy. Now, the next step is to put it back on the embroidery machine and start step two. Yes. So now we have it on the sewing machine, so we can go ahead and start, right? Yeah, well, we gotta put the foot down. Okay, where is that? A little leather on the back. Okay, now light turn green. And, and you can see that it's on the next step, which is gonna be our outside satin mm -hmm. stitch. So, do you wanna do the honors? No, you go. Okay. Okay, so before we continue with the next color, the next step, which I believe is the nose, uh, we need to go ahead and cut these jump stitches out. Yeah. Okay, so process, you need to make sure the foot is up because you really need to make sure that foot is up. And then you slide it under, so. sure there's no shirt cut underneath. All right, now we need to change out the color. And that's it. Next is a scarf. So it's ready for the last color, which is black. Oh. No, no, I'm sorry. Two more colors. Yeah. I forgot black. this guy has arms, huh? So the next one is his arms. Last color. it's able to pop off. You can see there's a bunch of stitches on the back. You just tear away it, because this is called tear away. <laughs> what it is is a stabilizer because your shirt is naturally stretchy and this stabilizes it and keeps it in the same spot. Very nice. about the sewing slash embroidery machine, go ahead and comment down below. Yeah, and stick around for the rest of Craftsmas 2020. A lot of cool projects and we've had a lot of fun. Yeah, so please like this video if you like this video. Or just like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Or just subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.